is Eber Heard. Welcome back to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Today, we are checking out technically the first DLC fighter in Smash Ultimate. He wasn't a part of the DLC pack, but he was a part of, well, actually, he wasn't a part of the original launch of the game. He was added afterwards. Shortly afterwards, he is Piranha Plant, and he has a Piranha Plant root, New Bloom. He was definitely a curveball for me and a lot of people. Just weren't expecting Piranha Plant to be added to the game, but I think it's an awesome addition just because it's sort of like a random Mario enemy. It doesn't have too much significance in terms of like maybe maybe the major plot to most games. It's not even PD Piranha, it's just Piranha Plant. And I think that's so cool because it's, it's just a lot of interesting moves. It's more about the fact that this character moves in an interesting way more than it is their cultural relevance in a way, I guess. I don't know. Um, Piranha Plant has some different colors here. We have like a yellow and green and then the inverse of that, some pink, brown, whitish, purplish, Blue and yellow, that's a nice one. We'll go with this one, Piranha Plant. Piranha Plant. And we'll see how this goes. I have played Piranha Plant a little bit um, in the story mode ever so long ago. I liked him a lot, but it's been a while. So we'll do 3.5 to start things off. And we're going against a horde battle with Inkling. Okay, lots of them. Uh, before we do anything then, let's take a look at the move list for number 70, Piranha Plant. He has the neutral special, Patui. Spits a spiked ball, hold the button to keep the spiked ball in the air and blow it left or right with the stick. Side special is Poison Breath. Spits a slow moving poison, excuse me, <laughs> slow moving poison mist. The longer it's charged, the more damage and range it has. Uh, up special is Piranha Copter. Uh, spins leaves to fly, can be moved left and right, does damage if it makes contact. And then the down special is Long Stem Strike, withdraws into the spot or into the pot and then pops out to bite opponents. The longer it's charged, the more range it has. And then finally, the final smash is PD Piranha. Piranha Plant summons a giant PD Piranha that moves left and right while swinging cages. Fighters hit by, the, by a cage will be trapped. In the end, PD Piranha throws the cages downwards, launching the fighter trapped inside. Okay, so a lot of interesting moves from him. He's a very like snappy fighter, I I'll say that much. I like him, for sure because we could do stuff like that. I love the angling for the up special, for sure. There we go. And I definitely need to work a little bit more on like using the neutral special. Blue shell. All right, I'll take it. Watch out for that guy. And now I have one of these. There we go, okay. I guess it's this. I don't think it's gonna hit anybody. Okay, this is taking me a while <laughs> to actually hit him. Oh, nice, and you're also stunned, so let's go for you. Just like that. Wow, that was weird, it did, like, didn't launch. Maybe I have to press the button again. That was the side special, I think. Oh, there we go. We got lots of nice goodies here. Oh no, I was supposed to use that, you know. Oh gosh, gotta be careful. But let's definitely get the blue shell again. Don't lose a life, don't lose a life on the first round. There we go. That was fortunate. I don't know if that was a blue shot. I think it was. Okay, so we won the first round. Of course, the gauntlet ones could be a bit tough, but it was a nice play, so we're at 4.0. Now we're going against Ridley and Dark Samus on my own? Will they fight each other at all? Oh, this isn't good. Why are we so outnumbered? But it's all characters that are new to the game, it seems. That also, that, that seems to be very commonly a thing. Ah, oh, I was hoping to get him there. But it seems to be a very common thing with the new characters whenever they get a a classic mode. It's just, hey, they get to join the other new characters because they're new, that's their theme. They have no other trait. Okay, ow, seriously, watch it. But we got rid of Ridley. Got rid of Ridley. Okay, the lava is not being very helpful to me. I don't think the lava is very helpful to anybody. Okay, come on. Oh, definitely want the final smash, hold on. I just, I love being able to, ah! Tilt the angle. Oh no, no. Okay, I got it. Which means all I need to do now is bring him in here. Maybe I won't even need it, won't even need it. Okay, well that's fine. But yeah, it's, I think his final smash is a reference to uh, the opening story mode of Super Smash Brothers Brawl, where you actually do fight a piranha, or a PD piranha who's like held Peach captive, captive I think, right? I can't remember, it's been a while since I've played that. Round three versus Simon and Richter. Ready? We just played Richter last episode. Still can't believe we're finally past all the main fighters in the game and moving on to the DLC. We're almost done with everything. Isn't that wild? I have not done 
the down special like much at all. The down special is a bit weird. Because I think you can do it at an angle. Maybe you can. But it's interesting that, you know, he has so much. Whoa, whoa, I'm slowed down. That is not good when it's a two versus one situation. I really have not been appreciating the two versus one scenario we've been thrown at. No, 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 come on, I did the wrong one. Uh, oh, I'm out of coins too? Yikes, I forgot that I spent all my coins last episode. That's a problem. That's like a legitimate issue. If I mess this up, I should've thought about that. It's gonna be a big problem. Why did I do that? Okay. Okay, very nice. Okay, I got him out of here. So, the stakes are high now. I gotta make sure I don't mess everything up. It's always so satisfying to land all the, yes, all the um, up special stuff. Oh boy, this is not gonna be easy. Cause we still have a couple more battles to survive. I can only imagine they're all gonna be two versus one King K. Rule versus Krom. It'd be so much easier if they also attacked each other, but no, it's all on me. Oh, actually no, they're attacking each other. I swear they weren't before. Maybe it depends on which one. Why did he dodge there? I was just trying to do the side special, just like that. Okay, K. Rule, you gotta watch it, buddy. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Throw the stun. Ah, oh, didn't hit anybody, darn. There we go, launching him around a bit. Oh, the Rage Blaster would actually be really useful right now. Yes, because the Rage Blaster does more damage the more damage you've received. <laughs> okay, so that was a pretty good finish there for sure, but we still have more to go. We're up to 5.0. I think this is the last up before the bonus. Let's hope so. No, it's not, but it's Isabel and Daisy this time. Oh, it gets stressful. Because I guess we'll have to do the whole thing over if I lose at this point. I don't have any more tickets. Oh, went right over you. Did she pocket it? That wasn't yours. Oh no, the bees, not the bees. Please, not the bees. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let's throw the boomerang for sure. Send her flying, and you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, there we go. See ya, sending you flying, and Oh, chocolate, chocolate, eat the chocolate. Yes, okay, that's another one survived. Oh, it's so intense. When you, when you, when it's all or nothing right now, it's very, very intense. We're at the 5.5, and then we have Incineroar and Ken. Then the bonus, then the final thing. There we go, okay, hey, watch it. Oh, no, 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 not what I wanted. Ah, oh, couldn't quite get him. Oh, what's up here? I think it's the exploding bomb. Yes, it is. Two rage blasters, are you kidding me? No, 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 that was just one. Okay, thought it was two. Got a little scared. I just wanna use this to make sure they can't use it, because they're actually at a much higher percentage than I am at the moment, and I can just toss it that way. So hopefully nobody else can see it again. There we go. Oh, green shell, let's throw that. Oh, he caught it! Wow, what a move! Come on, get him out of here. And Ken, I need you out of here, thank you. Oh, I forgot how much diagonal movement he gets with that. Ah, oh, couldn't quite get him with that either. Oh, throw this for sure. Now he's in trouble. I might just wanna let that like leave it to its own devices. No, he tricked it! Wow! Dodging the blue shell, that's something else. What? Oh no. Whoa! Oh, he got stunned. Yes! That was very fortunate. He ran over the Deku nut and got stunned with it. Wow, okay. But things are only gonna get more intense because not only do we have the bonus round, which I guess the bonus round is fine, but then we have to survive the boss fight, whatever it might be. I need to survive without losing because I don't have any more coins. 
Oh, I really hope we can do it. Okay, come on. Slam down like that, not too bad. Yeah, some characters do go downwards faster when you hold down the left analog stick than others. Okay, which was just like a way to cancel that after you're done with it. <laughs> no, okay, yeah, good. Now what are you doing? What are you doing, Prana Plant? Do that. Okay, that was at least a little bit better. Uh, it's fine. Oh no, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, ah, uh, hey, we got it. So I don't think that's gonna be 145 like it was last episode, but pretty close to it. I think like 145 is like my maximum. I don't know if I can really do much better than that. But I'm glad that I was able, I've been, I've been able to reach that more on often. Rathalos, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Part of me is really happy it's not crazy in Master Hand because that just never works out for me. Rathalos does work out for me some of the time. Okay, hit him with stuff right away. Oh, that was good. Oh no, I'm stunned though. But I started out doing more damage to him than he was doing to me, so like that's a good thing. I just don't know if it's gonna stay that way. No, that's not what I wanted. So he's flying around, he's making this difficult on me! Wow, I dodged that. Oh, there's the Deku Nut. Pick it up, and then toss at him. Very nice, okay. There we go. Okay, okay, let's grab that and, okay, that doesn't stun him again. I was hoping it would. So far, so good, but it can go south very quickly with a boss fight, so you gotta be careful. Gotta be quick. What's interesting is I don't think that this is, whoa, okay, we're on the fire. Okay, I got him with that, but it wasn't enough. We need another one. Um, whoa. Because you can try to brute force and just fight him, but I don't think that's gonna long-term work out. There we go, there we go, ooh, ooh hoo, hoo, hoo. I need another Deku Nut so bad. Okay, I got one of these. Oh, but it wasn't enough. Okay, here we go, come on. Oh, but he's moving now. Oh, couldn't quite, couldn't quite. I still have it though. It didn't get him, maybe I'm not hitting him directly enough? Cause like it hit him. That might be it, maybe it's cause I didn't hit him like dead center. Okay, he fell, oh, I'm so sorry. Did you get a boo-boo? Okay, just barely got him with the down special, something I don't often do. Oh, it's getting close. Come on, where's another Deku Nut? I really, ah, man, the spike. There we go, okay, this is good, this is good. Come on, go for it. Almost there, almost there. There it is, all in one go. When everything was on the line, we made it work. How cool is that? Wow, I am happy with that one. I know it's not the highest score ever, but you know what? A good turnout in my opinion, very good turnout. Getting up to 6.5, thank you. All right, final results are in. And with that being said, that is gonna wrap up our classic mode adventure with Piranha Plant. Oh, it plays the uh, Mario Underground music, I love that. Of course, Piranha Plant has been in the Mario series for as long as the, oh, the Super Mario series has been existing, I'm pretty sure Piranha Plant first showed up in the original Super Mario Bros, which is a game I wanna play eventually. I know this September, September of 2020, um, is I think the 35th anniversary of Super Mario Bros, maybe the 40th, I can't remember, something like that, 35th or 40th, um, I think it's 35th. Pretty sure? I don't know, 1985, right? Yeah, so, yeah, 35, okay. No, 45, I, I don't know, I can't do math right now. I've been too busy playing Piranha Plant. Um, no, it's 35. Uh, anyways, I wanna play that game then, the original NES one. 
Um, so we'll see some more Piranha Plant there. And of course, Piranha Plant's been a big staple of all sorts of games. Uh, his final Smash PD Piranha was um, a boss in Super Mario Sunshine, a playable character in Mario Kart Double Dash. I don't know when I'll be playing Sunshine, but I'll definitely be playing Double Dash later this year after I play all the other Mario Kart games uh, leading up to it. I've never played it before. See, so yeah, a Piranha Plant's really cool, but that's why I'd love to hear, hear your thoughts on um, Piranha Plant. Um, do you think he's good, bad, somewhere in between? Were you surprised when Piranha Plant was announced as a DLC fighter out of all characters? I certainly was. Um, do you have any tips for me with him? I'd love to hear all about that kind of stuff. And we'll definitely have a lot of fun playing him online, good or bad or somewhere in between. I think it'll he'll just be a fun character, you know? I played against a good number of very talented Piranha Plants. I don't think I can compare though, but I'll try. There we go. Almost at this final credit. But yeah, I really do like the wacky characters in this game. You know, Rob, Piranha Plant, they're some of my favorites. It's just really cool to see. Pichu, I guess Pichu's not that wacky. It's just a Pokemon, but I think it's one of the most outstanding ones because I think it was out in the Melee is sort of like a joke, right? Because it, it, it just isn't that great of a character in Melee. It's a lot more viable in this game. From what I know, I haven't played Melee myself too much. I've only played like a tiny, tiny bit of it. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that's just really cool. I just, I like the abstract characters, I suppose. Anyways, there is the credit still and see what the final picture is gonna be for Piranha Plant. <laughs> it's two links it's teaching whole quartet, or I guess a quintet of uh, Piranha Plants to sing. I love it. All right, so with that done, let's see what our rewards are for the classic mode. Final results. We get the Piranha Plant Fighter Spirit, of course. We get Rattly from Donkey Kong Country and Smeargle, which is a Pokemon. And then coins, SP, lots of coins actually. That's not too bad. Uh, I'm really happy with that. So we are going to move online and see how things go. It looks like we're about to get into something so I won't try the taunts too much. Oh, I love that one. It makes a little pipe noise. And yeah, we'll check out the other ones later. For right now though, it's fight time. Going against Pikachu, Peach, and Ice Climbers. Interesting combo for sure. All right, well, this is a very tiny version of this map. I don't think I've ever seen this. This is like itty bitty. Maybe I've seen this. Oh no, oh, not good. Oh, Pikachu's going for us too, but somebody just got knocked out. I think it was uh, the the one piece of uh, Ice Climbers, I forget her name. Okay, go, 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 go. Not bad. Nobody's attacking Princess Peach and she's she's living it up over there. I'm the one with the highest percentage at the moment, which is not good. Ow. I did the wrong thing there. Um. Okay, I'm in big trouble. Ice Climbers keeps on getting all the items. Okay, this is not good. Really, really not good. Oh, you still have your star power, so you could get that no problem. That's really lame. Okay, so Pikachu got knocked out first. Don't. Okay. Oh, don't know who got knocked out there. See ya! Okay, that was great. I'm still kicking somehow. I don't know how, but I'm gonna keep the dream alive. Whoa, ooh, now I'm in trouble though. Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away! I stay too far away! Ah, oh, man. Whoa. That was weird. Couldn't really tell what was going on. Wow, okay. Come on. Oh, I have my final smash. Okay, let's give it a go! Hey, come on, get into the cage, get into the cage, get into the cage, there we go! <laughs> yeah, look at that. So I got a point there again. Also, I changed uh, Prana's plant, Prana Plant's color, if you didn't notice. Sure you did. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this smash ball. What I can at least do is get it. Okay, wait, I had it, but did Pikachu steal it? No, I have it still. No, stop, you, you burglars, thieves, stealers, <laughs> stop. Well, he like used it, but didn't use it. That was weird. I've not, didn't, did not see that before. I don't know what happened. Okay, get these guys out of here. I'm done with them now. Like I'm furious. Cause I stole my final smash. Oh, you know what? It might be better to play keep away for a second. Uh, is it gonna be sudden death? 
Or did somebody else win? Oh, Ice Climbers won. Okay, that makes sense. They put up a really good fight. How did I perform though? Second place, right? I think it was, yeah, second place. I'll take it for sure. That gets us into a 5.15 million GSP. That's competing for one of my best. So if I can just keep placing well, that could really work out for us. Anyways, we're gonna go back to the little waiting lobby. I wanna check out the taunt. So the up taunt was him doing this. Side taunt, he's chomping all over the place. Will that do damage? I wonder. Nope, and then down taunt. Oh, I love that. There's a little dance, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Okay, well, looks like we are about to get right into another battle uh, with two new two, two new people. So that should work out quite well, hopefully. Um, so we're going against Pikachu, King K, Rule, and Bowser. Okay. Wow. So we've got some heavy hitters. The heaviest of hitters, really. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, watch it, Pikachu. Oh, I'm just trying to do my side special. There we go. Okay, buddy. Watch what you're doing. I haven't really done too many grabs. Okay, I didn't really mean to do that. That was a mistake. Oh my gosh, Bowser with the drop kick, dude, really? Ah, I keep doing the wrong moves. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the side special. No, 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 the neutral. Yeah, like that. Oh, come on, he grabbed me, and he just slammed me. Okay, Pikachu, watch it, buddy. Pikachu. Why? Okay, that was weird. Ah, oh, I just wanna land something here. That wasn't too bad. Okay, come on. I keep doing the up special when I wanna do the neutral. I don't know why I think that's a good idea. I mean, I don't. It just happens that way. What, but I hit him! What are you talking about? My gosh, I can't make anything work right now. <laughs> oh, I really don't wanna get last place here. But they're too good. More than that, they're just so heavy. I'm obviously not Pikachu, but. Okay, that at least got somebody. Because I definitely think that there are some situations where Prana Plant's moves aren't perfect. Yeah, not happening this time, sorry. Oh, come on. No, oh, I'm okay, I'm okay. My gosh. Come on, oh, I got knocked out again. I did so bad that round. It just, uh, that's the worst. Bowser wins, I think I got last place, which really stings. Cause I was I was really trying and they just I just couldn't do anything. Yikes. So it's just me and uh Pikachu this time. I don't know what he said there. He said something, I just didn't read it. Uh oh, okay, I hit you, but you hit me. Come on. Oh, not bad actually. Oh, working out pretty well for me. Oh, and there's items? I don't know how I feel about that. Thought we were doing pretty well without him. Okay. We'll see how this goes. Oh, ho, ho, so far so good. And then back to the Steel Diver. Okay, gotta be careful. Oh, nice. I feel like, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man! What's happening, where am I going? Oh no, oh no. Now it's two against one. Oh, he caught up to me here. I always do that, I always start so well and then psych myself out. It's always a mind over matter kind of thing. Why? 
I just want to do the side special, and I just, I can't. I physically cannot do it. Seriously. Oh, great. So all I can do now is avoid. Which would be much easier if I have the bunny ears or not. Sometimes the bunny ears make things easier. Sometimes they make it more difficult. Oh, I'm giant. Oh, no. I don't know how much this is going to help me. Oh, now you're in trouble. Because you got to land it. That's right. I forgot that's how it worked for Pikachu. Oh, my giant power didn't last for very long. I wish that didn't hit the sinking wall. Like, come on. Ah, oh, I know what you're trying to do, but like, you know, like, what can I do about it? Oh my gosh, stop. I'm trying here, I'm really trying. There we go, there we go, come on, Petey. Help me out here. Yes, yes, good job, Petey. Thank you, so I am in the lead now. Wow, okay, you could still beat me up while I had the hammer, I didn't realize that. That's not fair. D -d 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 See, like, ah! Oh, if I can just play keep away, though. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Oh, come on! Yes, yes! Oh, man, now if I can play keep away. I think I have one point ahead of him. I think. I don't know what he's doing. Um, Did I win? I won, yes! All right, not bad, Piranha Plant. Takes a win. That was tough. But now we're back at the five million again. Can I just like win one or two more? That'd be perfect. All right, so it looks like 1v1 versus uh, Samus here. Not Dark Samus, just normal Samus. We'll see how this goes. Whoa, so far not so good. That's sort of the problem here is that Samus is very good with range. So I'm gonna have to close in that distance, I think. And that's not working out very well either. <laughs> oh no. I don't like 1v1s very much. Uh, glad I won the previous one, but I don't expect that to happen very often. Oh, I know you have that charged up. Don't you dare. Ugh, having a hard time landing a hit on her. I, mean, I started with it pretty well. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, almost got gotcha. you. Would've been great. Come on now. So she's got me up to 100%. Oh, that actually got her too. Okay, she went through it, but it didn't stop her. Wow. Yeah, she's got the tether grab. Okay, I'm starting to catch up a little bit. Oh, but not enough. See ya. <laughs> I'm out of here. Whoa. Should have jumped out, out of that, but. Mm. Yes, okay. Come on, come on. I mean, right now my goal is just getting one stock off of her. If I can do that, then who knows what else I can do. I know she's charging it up again. Okay, that was sort of lame. What is going on there? Like, what? Ah, <laughs> oh, she is so quick. Thank you, but not enough, not enough. Not unless I, why? Oh. Come on, come on. It is ridiculous how high of a percentage they have right now. And still, I can't pull it off. No, up, up. Oh, this game. <laughs> what? I was attacking them just as much as they were attacking me. Sometimes I don't understand, like, if we both attack at the two, same time, why does one person do damage and the other person doesn't? Like, what's the hierarchy here? Because there's clearly something that's just sort of like a magically, you're just supposed to know it kind of thing, and at least from what I've experienced. Okay. Watch it, come on, no. Okay, well there's no way I'm winning this one, but if I could, that'd be great. All right, see ya. All right, well I was able to not lose in the time limit, that's at least nice. <laughs> so Savage wins that one, that was at least a relatively quick round. Uh, another 1v1 though, just, it's like if you're not winning, you're losing with the GSP. I gotta stop worrying about the GSP, it doesn't matter that much. But having a good time, let's move to the uh, next round. This will probably be the last round of the day. Okay, so. 
Here we are. It's a dark Samus again, or just normal Samus. And Terry. <laughs> How about that? Fall off a building. See ya. Okay, oh this is, wait. Oh, he lost two stocks, but that's such a shame. I hate it when that happens. I still, I highly disagree with that philosophy. I don't know if anybody else does, but I've talked about this before. I think that if you just, you know, just like fall off all by yourself, the idea that that gets rid of two instead of one stock is absolutely ridiculous. Because like most of the time, people who are falling off all on their own like that are probably pretty new to the game. Them being new to the game and not being very good is punishment in and of itself. You know, that's what you need to get by. So having an extra penalty on top of that is like entirely unnecessary. And it's like a weird design idea. Like I guess it could be used like theoretically to get rid of people who are just trying to joke around online and just get themselves disqualified very fastly, very quickly or whatever. But I feel like, I feel like that isn't even worth that kind of precaution because it would add like, or minimize only a couple seconds worth of joking around. Anyways, I don't know. Poor Terry, already taken out. So it's, it's sort of back to what it was before, which is not good for me. Oh, but that was good for me. Oh, I actually got a grab. No, I'm stuck in the tornado. <laughs> oh gosh. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, I got you in the in the dark cloud. Oh, no, come on. Yes, yes, come on, come on, ready? Now ah, you get back here. Oh no, oh. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not letting you get away easy this time. No, not this one, not this, that's not what I was trying to do. Oh, you're kidding me. Why, why, why? <laughs> yes, okay. Stop with that. <laughs> I did not do side special there. I did neutral. See, that time I intentionally did side special. Didn't work out very well, but I still intentionally did it. I would like control over my own movements. Please leave. Yes! Okay, so this is not gonna be easy because now they're gonna be going for me. I didn't mean to do that. Why just, I'm so bad with apparently the Nintendo Switch analog sticks, no matter what controller I use. <laughs> this stuff is, it's the Joy-Cons Pro Controller, GameCube, but it should, and I think they know it. There's a chance of me actually, mm. <laughs> yeah, getting rid of them. Actually, I got them pretty high up there. Oh no, I don't trust it. Ah, uh, Samus is a particularly good character at, ah, <laughs> come on! I'll never, ever be able to do it. Oh my gosh, but she's a particularly good character in Sun Death, if you ask me. She has all these different range moves and she strikes pretty quickly. Okay, I'm so happy we're able to get into the Sun Death though. Oh my gosh, one day I'll be able to do it, but man, is it tough. All that pressure. So with that being said, that was a lot of fun. We are gonna go head back to, um, to Clyde, not Classic Mode. We're gonna be heading back to the tips for Piranha Plant and see what it says there. So there are 25 tips for Piranha Plant, starting with his origins. Piranha Plant first appeared in Super Mario Bros. released in 1985 for the NES. Many of them live in pipes and like to suddenly pop out at regular intervals. Yep, in Super Mario Bros. like we talked about before. Ties of Piranha Plants, ah! Uh, there are 60 subspecies of piranha plant. Their biologies and personalities are unique. Yeah, in its series. The first piranha plant was green with yellow dots. The red version with white spots first appeared in Super Mario Bros. 3. Patui is the neutral special. If you tilt the control stick left to right while blowing the spike ball upward, you can launch it in that direction, which we were doing quite often. Patui height, press and hold the special move button to keep the spike ball in the air. Um, the closer it is to the piranha plant's mouth, the farther you can launch it to the left or right, which we did here and there, but it was hard to really get a good feel for. Repeated Patui, you can only have one spiked ball at a time. If you try to use this move again, before the first spike ball disappears, you'll be left vulnerable. And then finally, Patui power. The spike ball loses power each time it hits the stage or a fighter. Also, once it loses enough speed to hit the ground, it won't deal damage to anyone. So once it's like stationary. Charging 
Poison Breath which is, is the side special. Press the special move button to start charging Poison Breath, then press it again to spit out a Poison Cloud. The cloud size duration and damage will increase on the longer it's charged, we knew that. Um, storing Poison Breath charge. Yeah, I tried to do this a couple times. If you shield, dodge, or jump while charging the Poison Cloud, you can store the charge, move around, and unleash it later, and then the breath damage. The Poison Cloud can't be destroyed, but it can be countered or absorbed. Also, the center of the cloud deals the most damage, and Poison Breath's duration. The duration of the Poison Cloud becomes shorter as the number of fighters increases. Really? That's weird. Um, Piranacopter is the up special. Tilt the control stick left or right while rising to move slightly in that direction. The spinning leaves will hit and damage anyone they hit. Uh, long stem strike charge is a down special. Press and hold the special move button to charge up power. The longer you charge, the more distance your attack will have. Um, tilt the control stick while charging to aim the attack. I tried that, it wouldn't really work for me. You can tilt farther in the air than on the ground. Piranha Plant gains super armor while charging this move. You'll lose the armor as soon as you stop charging. If the fighter is in range when Piranha Plant extends, it will automatically bite the fighter. If you press the special move button while Piranha Plant is extending, you can bite before it fully extends. And then finally, his final smash, PD Piranha. Uh, PD Piranha can trap up the two fighters in cages and deal a great amount of damage. You can't escape until the final smash ends or PD, PD Piranha is KO'd. Uh, you can make PD Piranha move left or right. You can also make PD jump. Okay, I tried to do that a little bit in the past. I feel like it didn't work out too well. Cause I know you can make him like jump off the stage and just have like a full guaranteed slam down. Um, push and pull, side tilt attack. Press the attack button after unleashing the move to perform an additional bite attack. But if you miss the first attack, missing the second attack as well may leave you open to a counter attack. All right. Uh, the second attack can be delayed to catch opponents off guard. If the first attack is blocked, you still may be able to land the second attack. A prickly swing. When Piranha Plant unleashes a side smash attack, it turns into a prickly Piranha Plant from Super Mario Galaxy 2, complete with the red spikes on its head. Yeah, I guess that's from Galaxy 2. Piranha Plant spits out an explosive flame. As with most explosions, it has a uh, great launch power. Uh, Piranha Plant swings, and this is Flower Pot Meteor. Piranha Plant swings the flower pot or pipe downward quickly. The move, yeah, because I, I didn't really mention that, but some of the different costumes have a pipe instead of a pot. Uh, the move comes out fast and may surprise opponents as a meteor effect at the beginning. Attack when stepped on. Piranha Plant will automatically bite if it's crouching and the opponent steps on it. <laughs> that's uncomfortable. It's an involuntary reflex learned from other games. Piranha Plant stars it. That's really cool. And then finally, costumes. Piranha Plant's odd numbered costumes feature flower pots and its even numbered costumes feature pipes. All right, so there's all the tips. And along with it, uh, we're gonna just check the shop real quick. I don't wanna spend too much money because I don't wanna be in the same situation we were in earlier in today's episode. Uh, but, let's take a look at what's available. We have 3,000 coins, which actually isn't too bad. I don't have this for some reason. So we'll go ahead and get that Robin female. Um, as long as I have like 500 coins, I think it's gonna be good. So uh, we have Frilliard, which is from Animal Crossing, I think. Um, Dra Draki, don't know what this is from. Might be from, Dragon Quest Heroes, I, or just Dragon Quest in general. Uh, we'll just get it now. Um, and then we have enough, we don't have Peach yet, darn. Um, oh no, I had enough for one more. I would like to get it, but I guess we'll just go for this one. It's a thousand coins, it is Glory of Heracles Hero. All right, well we're growing our collection more and more. Actually, I'm really curious, how big is our collection at the moment? Maybe we can take a quick look at that before we finish off today's episode. Our collection has um, inventory, actually. Yeah, inventory is gonna be our best bet. Spirit list. I have 1,026 out of 1,360. Wow, it feels like I need so much more to go, but I guess not. That's crazy, isn't it? All right, well, we're getting there farther and farther throughout the game, and now we have showcased our first DLC character. More are coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.